morning. The time now is 10 to 6. And I'll be catching a flight this morning to Dusseldorf, Germany. So we're just staying opposite the, the airport now. I'm just gonna have my tea now. So this is the, the hotel room, really nice. Had a really nice comfortable sleep last night. I'm just going to have my tea now. The staff here were really nice. I had some food yesterday evening, some mushroom soup and a beer. They said that there was a gym in here as well, but I was so tired. I just wanted to pop my head down on the pillow and sleep. So, right, the plan is to have my tea and then head downstairs and then go to the airport and check in. That's right, so I'm drinking herbal latte tea this morning. Ah. Got the key. Right, so I'm making my way now to the airport. Let's go. Here it is, Prague Airport. This is the hotel inside. Right, time to catch the lift. Are you going down? Mm -hmm. Level two. Level two, okay. Good morning. Thank you very much for waking me up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Have a nice day. I'll be on my flight. Heading to where I'm going. All right, so straight ahead is the Prague airport. And this is like the pickup point and the car park. So these are the bus stops taking you to your destination when you're going somewhere. And you get your ticket here. Now inside the airport. It didn't even feel like I slept for long. But I did. I checked in yesterday evening about nine o'clock. And time now is six, so I did I did spend a good time in there, had a good sleep, but I felt like I would have liked to stay down in the bed for longer. <laughs> right, so I'm just getting myself a coffee now. Well, there's my coffee. <laughs> That is literally half the cup. Yeah, I've just came across a local from Dusseldorf, yes. right? And he's just going to give us some information about Dusseldorf in general. Yeah, so um, all it started with Dusseldorf was a sort of a sort of a um, colony of companies from okay. Japan. So um, let's say Toshiba, um, Hitachi, or um, so all of these Japanese companies came to Germany in the in the seventies. Okay. Um, after that, so after that. All the companies became a uh, sort of a Japanese colony, so the Japanese culture uh, penetrated the city. And after that, in the 90s, um, the Chinese people came. So after the Chinese people came, they, op they opened up a couple of restaurants and so, and now the Chinese culture there is also very, very strong. And um, so there are 800,000 people in Dusseldorf and the Asian culture takes up around 15%. Wow. So, so let's say just Chinese people, there are over 100,000 Chinese people there. And they have a lot of Chinese, say, yes. restaurants and businesses yes, there. Like, um, we want to say that uh, the restaurants are very authentic. Okay. So the cook, so the cook in the, in the restaurant, they came all the way from China to find a better life here. And Dusseldorf is a very good option because it, it has a system already there. And um, so people, Let's say Chinese people. Yeah. When they visit Dusseldorf. Yeah. They can just be Chinese. Aha. Uh, Is it like multicultural there? Yeah. Um, not just multicultural. Um, I mean, um, people in Dusseldorf are more open. Oh. Um, compared to other cities, let's say in uh, East Germany, people are more conservative, okay, more yeah. mean, and so more mean. Oh no! <laughs> but um, Dusseldorf is just something different. Um, and um, something about Dusseldorf is that uh, people in Dusseldorf we call them Dusseldorfer. Yeah, I've been living in Dusseldorf for over four years. Mm. I have a job there, and I also study somewhere near Dusseldorf. So. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Wow. And do you speak German? Yeah, I, I speak fluent German. And 
yeah, I've been in Germany for five years or so. Yeah. Wow, so if I do plan to come to Dusseldorf, and I can contact you, right? Yes, you can contact me and try the authentic rum, authentic oh, Korean wow, rum, food. Korean food. Uh, Korean barbecue only costs 20 Super. euro and all you can eat. You yeah, can take wow, all because the pork and all the chicken. Oh, that is beef. interesting. Yeah, um, Dusseldorf is very interesting because it's not so big um, um, comparing to Berlin or so. Um, Dusseldorf is relatively small, so the scale is something also something very different from other cities in, uh, in Germany. Mm, wow. And it's also worth mentioning the Rhine River. The Rhine River um, flows across the whole Dusseldorf, so it, so it divided Dusseldorf in two different parts. So um, let's say um, the riverside left side is for the old money guys. Uh -huh. It's not like the other side, yeah, it's yeah. like the city oh, people, so, right? Yeah, and the right side was, was, um, it's more urban culture. So, so the old money people, they bought mansion on the other side of the river. And now it becomes very, very expensive. It's say 4 million euro. 4 million euro for a flat. For a flat for, I don't know, seven, oh, 70, yeah, 70 mm -hmm. square meters. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's most of it about mm. Dusseldorf. It's a very different. So place. business is good in Dusseldorf, you would yes, say. Yes, because Dusseldorf is more open because um, it has the biggest media harbor in the whole Europe. So um, based on that, so based on that, um, so people are more open there. They're younger, uh -huh. they're more energetic. Uh -huh, there's like more yeah. young people. I uh, like going places like that where there's a mixed variety of different sorts of people, young, elderly, old, you know? Yes, yeah. they're more open to new ideas and, and let's say more open to all kinds of cultures. Mm, wow. You know, um, people also um, tend to visit Cologne instead of Dusseldorf. I mean, yeah, it makes more sense because Cologne is more famous, but I mean, Dusseldorf is London's hauptstadt. I mean, the, the the biggest city, not the biggest city, but the representative city. So, yeah, okay. I mean, you can combine them both if you want to visit this part of West Germany and also the uh, rural area. It's about the um, industrial thingy, thingy um, for 45, 40, 50 years ago. So, west part of Germany is also something different if you compare to the east part of Germany. So. Okay, wow. Great information there from a Dusseldorf local. My name's Leo and you're Leo, Andre. My name's Andre. Right, nice to meet you, Leo. Nice cool, man. Off to Dusseldorf. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Off to Dusseldorf. Hi. Right. Hello. You taking off soon? Yes. So this is you. Yeah, that's me, Andre Traveller. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, I've been yeah, around like Austria. Slovakia, Hungary, same, Poland. Same. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go to Poland, but okay. Yeah. yeah, I love Budapest the most. You loved where? Budapest. Budapest. Yeah, that is really nice. They have nice yeah. food there as well. I I spent only one day in Bratislava. So I'm the first Londoner you right. came across. Cool. You've got a good like English accent as well for yourself. Right, because I I've been spending most of my time in Germany. They, they speak actually um, British accent, but uh -huh. I used to have a southern tie from the United States, so my accent now is all over the place. Ah. What a coincidence, like you're sitting right, right. away from me right. as well, right? right. <laughs> yeah. Such a coincidence. Yeah. It's getting full up now, as you can see. I'm taking off soon. Nice to meet right. you, Andre. Nice. Andre, yeah. I'm Leo. Yeah. Hi, Leo. Bye bye. 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 Right, I'm now in Dusseldorf Airport and have a look around. This is how it looks a smoking lounge. Oh, <laughs> you're right. This is Dusseldorf duty free. Some shops here and the departure times on the board ahead. Ciao. <laughs> 